Ancient Egypt is one of the most fascinating subjects to study if you are into archaeology, and although you may think there are no more things to be found there, the truth is a bit different. From mummies with golden parts to the proof that giants were real, in today's video we are talking about the findings that emerged from ancient Egypt and shocked the world. Twenty. 4,300-foot-long tunnel. Kathleen Martinez is thinking she might have made a golden finding, the tomb of Cleopatra, right under the Tapasiris Magna Temple near Alexandria. What's turning heads? A 4,600-foot or 1,400-meter-long tunnel tagged as a geometric miracle by the Egyptian authorities. Kathleen, not your typical archaeology pro since she's got a criminal law background, is saying this could be the biggest discovery of the 21st century, but this isn't some out of the blue thing for Kathleen. She's been digging into Cleopatra's past for a whopping 10 years. Her theory is strong, backed by Greco-Roman vibes, coins, and a graveyard nearby. The Egyptian big shots are even giving her more time to dig around, smelling something royal in the air. What's wild is Kathleen's mix of crime-busting skills with her DIY archaeology knowledge. If she's onto something, this could be the scoop of the century, Cleopatra's mystery solved. Now let's rewind a bit. Cleopatra, ruling the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt from 51 to 30 BC, didn't have the happiest ending. Defeated by the Romans, she pulled a classic move and chose suicide over a Roman parade. Her life's a history roller coaster, and finding where she died and was buried is like chasing a unicorn. But hold up, if Kathleen's right, this Tapasiris Magna Temple gig could drop some mind blowing Cleopatra insights. The history books might need a little update after this, don't you think? 19. 4,300 year old mummy. When you think about ancient Egypt, one of the first things that comes to mind are mummies. But up until recently, Many people thought that the only mummies that could be found there belonged to the royal family. But as it turns out, this is not the case. But how can that be? Well, an excavation team has managed to find an ancient tomb housing a mummy believed to be approximately 4,300 years old. Renowned archaeologist Zahi Hawass unveiled the findings after a year-long excavation at Giza al mudir also known as the Great Enclosure, one of Egypt's oldest stone structures. Notable among the discoveries are Khmumdjadef, a 5th dynasty priest, Mary, a palace official titled Keeper of the Secrets, and an individual named Hekashepes. Zahi emphasized the exceptional nature of the find, stating that Hekashepes' mummy might really be the oldest and most complete mummy discovered in Egypt to date while not even being connected to any royal family. The excavation also yielded various artifacts, including statues, amulets, and a remarkably well-preserved sarcophagus. Zahi described the latter as containing a beautifully adorned mummy layered in gold. But the findings don't end there, as scientists from Cairo University also shared details about a previously discovered mummified teenage boy. Utilizing CT scans, they gained insights into the boy's high social status by examining intricately detailed amulets within his mummified body and the type of burial he received. 18. Nefertiti Statue Let's take a moment to delve into the fascinating story of Nefertiti. This remarkable lady not only supported but quite possibly instigated her husband's reforms, as some Egyptologists suggest. Her bust, discovered during excavations in 1912 in the ancient Egyptian city of Akhetitan, founded by Akhenaten around 1350 BC, offers a captivating glimpse into this historical era. Following the pharaoh's passing, Akhetitan was left abandoned and Thebes once again assumed its capital status. Considering its age of over 3,000 years, Nefertiti's sculptural portrait is astonishingly well-preserved. Despite the loss of the Urias on the queen's forehead and damage to the ears and headdress, 
these are the sole imperfections. Notably, the original layer of paint remains untouched, preserving the statue's authenticity. Yet, what piques curiosity is the absence of a broken nose on Nefertiti's statue, a major difference from the common phenomenon in ancient art. Most statues from that time have nose damage, and numerous theories attempt to decipher this. A prevailing notion suggests that once a deity is expressed in an image, it holds a certain power that can be activated or deactivated through specific rituals. Deliberate damage, like breaking the nose, is thought to control or neutralize this power. The intact nose on Nefertiti's statue just makes you think about the reverence and significance attributed to her image in ancient times, doesn't it? 17. Tutankhamun Trumpets Now we all know who the famous Tutankhamun was, but I bet you didn't know that he apparently had some haunted musical instruments. Now, if this sounds a bit funny to you, hold on, because the story I am about to tell you contains what could be considered evidence backing up this theory. You see, back in 1922, Howard Carter's crew hit the jackpot and found a shocking discovery, Tutankhamun's tomb. The crew found a ton of amazing stuff, giving us the lowdown on ancient Egypt, like how they did burials and so on. But what they also found were some rad trumpets made of wood, silver, and bronze. Now, fast forward to 1939, BBC Radio cranked up the volume on one of those trumpets, making the whole world vibe with it. But here's where it gets wild. People started saying that playing trumpet jinxed us into World War II. Those trumpets were part of his burial gear, something like early Egyptian military walkie-talkies, helping the pharaoh guide soldiers in battles. Funny enough, there's a legend saying these trumpets got magic war powers. People swear they played them before the Six-Day War and the Gulf War as well, can you imagine? But here's the scoop. Proving the curse is tough, mostly just stories. Tutankhamun, during his short reign, did some major fixer-upper, sorting out Egypt's mess from before. And that trumpet played on the radio in 1939. No encore, it's too delicate. On the upside, Tutankhamun's trumpets won't accidentally kick off any more wars, as they are reportedly broken. I'm not sure I believe it all, and yet I'm relieved that they're broken. How's that for ancient vibes, huh? 16. Mummies with golden tongues. In a recent discovery, archaeologists in Egypt hit the jackpot, unearthing a bunch of ancient mummies sporting tongues made of gold. This fascinating find took place in a cemetery near Questna, a city just about 35 miles or 56 kilometers north of Cairo, as reported by Egypt's Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities. The mummies, snugly tucked in wooden coffins, were surrounded by other grave items like necklaces, pottery, and snazzy gold artifacts shaped like lotus flowers and beetles known as scarabs. According to the experts, this gold tongue trend was all the rage during the Greco-Roman period, which ran from around 332 BC to AD 395. Salima Ikram, a big-shot Egyptology professor at the American University in Cairo, spilled the beans that these gold tongues were like the rock stars of funerary prep back then. They believed slapping on gold tongues and sometimes even gold eyes was like the VIP pass to transforming the deceased into divine beings. The ancient Egyptians were into this idea that the god's flesh was gold, and during the Greco-Roman era, they thought these golden touches would let the departed souls speak, see, and even taste stuff in the afterlife. Gold tongues have been spotted before at places like Tapasiris Magna on the Mediterranean coast and Oxyrhynchus, a site about 108 miles or 174 kilometers south of Cairo. Professor Salama was pretty stoked about the find calling it delightful to have more of these golden-tongued mummies in the mix. As the excavation and analysis is still in progress at Questna, the big mystery is just how many gold-tongued mummies were resting there, and if we'll ever know who these ancient 
cool cats were, but admit it, the whole theory has something to it. It is really awesome to think about how much they respected their deceased ones. 15. Ancient Egyptian Pharaoh, First Giant. If you are into the history of humankind, you must know that there are all sorts of theories regarding how people in the past looked. But do you know about the theory that once upon a time, some people were giants? Yes, you heard that right, giants. And maybe, just maybe, ancient Egypt has some proof to support this. Do you see, the skeletal remains of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh believed to be Sanakht from the Third Dynasty have unveiled a surprising aspect, gigantism. Researchers from the University of Zurich found that the pharaoh's bones, discovered in 1901, were 12% larger than the average, indicating a rare case of gigantism triggered by excessive growth hormones during childhood. Unlike today, ancient Egyptians didn't attach societal negatives to gigantism, and the elite burial of Sanakt suggests it wasn't associated with social marginalization. Interestingly, in ancient Egypt, individuals with dwarfism were accorded special respect. So basically, it turns out that people faced less discrimination in ancient times than now, at least size-wise. 14. Sunken Temple and Sanctuary Would you believe me if I told you that Egypt might hold some secrets about ancient Greece? But how could that be? These two are not on the same continent. Well, maybe, but this planet has its ways to make history a bit more interesting from time to time. Off the coast of Egypt, in a canal near the Mediterranean, underwater explorers found a sunken temple and a sanctuary loaded with ancient treasures. The temple, dedicated to the god Amun, was a big deal back in the day. Pharaohs would swing by to get their titles of power from this top dog of the ancient Egyptian pantheon. Unfortunately, it took a hit during a major catastrophe in the mid-2nd century BC, collapsing and becoming a part of the underwater ruins of Thonis Heraclean. Diving into the wreckage, archaeologists dug up a treasure trove, silver ritual gear, gold bling, and alabaster containers once holding fancy perfumes. Imagine finding these delicate items surviving the chaos of a cataclysm. But wait, there's more. East of the temple, they stumbled upon a Greek sanctuary dedicated to Aphrodite, the love goddess. Greeks, doing their thing during the time of the pharaohs, had their own spot. The digs even revealed a stash of Greek weapons, hinting that Greek mercenaries might have been guarding the Nile's entrance. Crazy, right? Frank Godillo, the lead archaeologist, couldn't contain his excitement, calling it extremely moving to find these gems untouched, despite the ancient catastrophe. It's like uncovering a time capsule beneath the waves. 13. Pink Granite Sarcophagus Get ready for a shocking discovery near Cairo, a pink granite sarcophagus belonging to a big shot named Ptah M. Weir, who held the purse strings under Ramses the Great. Archaeologists are calling it a dream find. And trust me, this is really an ancient Egyptian treasure. The sarcophagus, up to 3,300 years old, is decked out with hieroglyphs and titles, showcasing Ptah M. Weir's high rank. It's practically a VIP ticket to the afterlife. Found in Saqqara, this stone coffin is in pristine condition, lying untouched in its original tomb, 23 feet or 7 meters underground. Professor Ola El Aguizi, the brains behind the operation, believes this discovery will shine a light on the rulers that came after Tutankhamun. Ta Emwia wasn't just any noble, he was practically the finance minister of his time, rubbing shoulders with the king. Unveiled in the latest series of Lost Treasures of Egypt on National Geographic, this sarcophagus was no easy catch. The team had to shift tons of sand, create a shaft, and navigate through an underground maze. A real-life Indiana Jones adventure, is it not? While tomb robbers did some damage, finding Patar M. Wire's coffin intact in its original resting place is a rarity. Most tombs in Saqqara have seen better days, but this one is pure archaeological gold. This find is a game-changer, 
and Professor Eliguizi and her team are gearing up to decode Ptah M. Wie's life story. We can't wait to see what they will uncover, can you? 12. The Abydos Helicopter Okay, buckle up for a trip to ancient Abydos where things get a bit mysterious. We're talking about the Abydos carvings found in the Temple of Seti I. Picture this, strange hieroglyphs on the ceiling, possibly depicting modern or extraterrestrial vehicles. Some say it's proof of ancient astronauts dropping by Egypt over 3,000 years ago. Seti I's temple, decked out in Osiris vibes, is a hotbed of ancient intrigue. The Abydos carvings, also dubbed helicopter hieroglyphs, have caused a stir. Internet sleuths claim they show what seems like 20th century tech, helicopters, submarines, planes, and even UFOs. Now, before you jump on the alien bandwagon, Egyptologists have a different take. It's all about palimpsest, a fancy word for rewriting history. When a new pharaoh rolled into town, they'd carve their name over the old hieroglyphs, creating a visual mishmash over time. Something like ancient graffiti, but with a royal twist. But there is more. Some skeptics argue that similar carvings at Karnak throw a wrench into the palimpsest theory. If those carvings are legit, then what's the deal with the Abydos mystery? So here we are, caught between ancient Egyptian palimpsest parties and wild theories of time-traveling visitors. Whether it's royal rewrites or cosmic carvings, Abydos keeps us on our toes. 11. Hidden chambers in crumbling pyramid. Now let's rewind to 1836, when Egyptologist John Shea Pering was poking around the pyramid of Sahura in the Abusa pyramid complex. He noticed a blocked passage but couldn't dive into the mysteries beyond because of serious damage. Fast forward to the early 1900s, enter German Egyptologist Ludwig Borchardt. Did he uncover the secrets? Nope. He kind of brushed off John's findings, leaving the pyramid's hidden nooks in eternal suspense. Now cue the drum roll for the Egyptian-German dream team. They're not here for games. Using laser magic with LiDAR, they mapped the Sahura Pyramid inside out, corridors, chambers, the whole shebang. And guess what? They were onto something. These laser whizzes uncovered a secret passage leading to not one, not two, but eight hidden storage rooms. Dr. Muhammad Ismail Khalid, leading the squad, talked about damaged ceilings and original floors, but the excitement was palpable. So hold on to your hats. This find is set to shake up our views on pyramid development. And speaking of powerful rulers, they recently stumbled upon the resting place of a queen, maybe Egypt's first female ruler. Plus, ancient wine vibes from Upper Egypt spilled the beans on Merit Neith, the forgotten female king. Turns out she was living large with her wine stash, proving she was the ancient party planner of the Nile. It just gets more and more exciting every day. 10. Silver bracelets in Egyptian queen's tomb reveal ancient trading network. As we saw before, Egypt and Greece had surprising relationships in ancient times. Turns out, the two countries were more connected than we thought. Quite literally. For those of you who don't know this, Khufu is the pharaoh buried in the Great Pyramid of Giza. Well, bracelets from Queen Hetaferes I's tomb, Khufu's mother, reveal secrets about ancient trade. These beauties had the usual Egyptian bling, copper, gold, and gems. But wait, there's a twist, a dash of silver. No local source in 2600 BC. Researchers peeked at isotopes and bingo. The silver is Greek from Cyclades and Lavrian. Mind blown, right? Turns out Egypt and Greece were swapping more than just stories. The bracelets spill secrets of ancient bling making too. Cold worked metal, a bit of heat, and maybe a gold glam up. Who knew fashion was this epic back in the day? 9. Book of Dead. More big news from Egypt. Archaeologists just unearthed a 52-foot or 16-meter-long papyrus straight from the Book of the Dead in a tomb near Joseph's Step Pyramid at Saqqara. If you didn't know, the Book of the Dead is basically a modern name 
for funerary texts. This 2,000-year-old document, the first full papyrus found at Saqqara in a century, offers ancient Egyptian afterlife insights. The coffin, dating back to the late period 712 BC to 332 BC, is stirring up excitement about who owned it and the secrets it holds about funerary traditions. It's a deep dive into the New Kingdom vibes circa 1550 BC to 1070 BC, providing a rare peek into ancient beliefs. With conservation done, the papyrus is now getting an Arabic translation, and we can't even begin to imagine what it could hold. 8. Hundreds of mummies and pyramid of an unknown queen. In Saqqara, just south of Cairo, archaeologists hit the jackpot with a trove of coffins and mummies, possibly belonging to King Tut's closest people, possibly his generals or something similar. But that's not all. They stumbled upon a New Kingdom pyramid dedicated to Queen Nath, rewriting history by adding her to the royal records. The pyramid is a time capsule filled with 300 unique coffins adorned with scenes from the Book of the Dead, lift the lids and surprise well-preserved mummies. One coffin even flaunts a solid gold mask. With artifacts like ancient games and statues, it's a treasure trove reshaping our understanding of Egypt's past. The Grand Egyptian Museum in Giza will showcase these marvels, giving us an exclusive front row seat to ancient history. Seven, Tomb of Ancient Egyptian Mercenary Commander. Now listen to this historical bombshell. Archaeologists uncovered a 2,600-year-old tomb belonging to a big shot named Wahibre Meri Nath, a high-ranking man in charge of foreign mercenaries. This tomb, nestled in Abusia, spilled some serious tea. Here's the deal. This commander's embalming stash, found in 2021, is like nothing they've seen before. More than 370 pottery jars were found loaded with mummification goods, making it the largest embalming cache ever found in Egypt, according to Egyptian and Czech researchers. Grave robbers snagged his mummy back in the day, but his sarcophagus remains contain stories written in hieroglyphs. The glyphs talk about who he was and even quote a chapter from the Book of the Dead about his journey to the afterlife. Wahibra Merineath was apparently responsible for overseeing mercenaries from the Aegean Islands and Asia Minor during the late 26th or early 27th dynasty. Despite Egypt's Persian takeover in the 27th dynasty, this guy seems to have kept it local as per his name and the gear in his tomb. How did he score the largest embalming kit in Egypt, you ask? Well, that's still a mystery. And there's more. This commander's tomb was stacked with 402 Shabtai figurines. Think ancient Egyptian helpers, a heart scarab, an amulet, and even an ostracon with Book of the Dead spells. Experts are buzzing about this find, and Gunter Wittmann, Egyptology professor, calls it an important, interesting, and most welcome find. Six, 5,000-year-old nativity scene. Italian researchers have stumbled upon what could be the oldest nativity scene ever discovered, and it's dating back a fascinating 5,000 years. The scene, depicted in reddish-brown ochre on the ceiling of a small cavity in the Egyptian Sahara, reveals a star in the east, a newborn flanked by parents and two animals. Well, this sounds familiar, doesn't it? Although resembling the Christmas nativity, it predates it by 3,000 years. The discovery, termed the Cave of the Parents, challenges established notions, prompting questions about the iconography of this powerful Christian symbol. The scene also features a headless lion above and a baboon or anthropomorphic monkey below. Does this have any connection to the Bible, though? We are eager to find out. 5. Numi Minimi Coins Numismatists from the University of Warsaw's Faculty of Archaeology have unveiled intriguing findings about Egypt's monetary circulation in late antiquity, examining over 8,500 Byzantine and Umayyad coins, previously overlooked small coins in Maria, near Alexandria, have challenged previously established thoughts about this period. 
These so-called numi minimi, once considered insignificant due to their small size, actually played a crucial role in reshaping the understanding of Egypt's monetary history. The dominance of these tiny coins in discovered hoards, including those minted in Carthage by Vandal kings and Ostrogothic coins, suggests Egypt's economic ties extended across the eastern Mediterranean. 4. Oldest Ancient Pet Cemetery In the ancient Red Sea port of Berenice, Egypt, nearly 600 animals, predominantly cats along with dogs and imported monkeys, have been discovered in what researchers believe could be the world's oldest pet cemetery. Excavations spanning a decade revealed these well-preserved animal remains buried just beyond the port's walls, dating back almost 2,000 years. The animals, adorned with metal or intricately beaded collars and covered in textiles or ceramics, were not mummified and there's no indication of ritualistic use. Is this Egyptian site the world's oldest pet cemetery, perhaps? But people all over the world have a long history of burying animals with respect. 3. Second century statue of Buddha When you think of ancient Egypt, do you think Buddha? Well, of course not. What does Buddha have with ancient Egypt? Well, maybe they do have something in common after all. Archaeologists in Berenice, Egypt, have unearthed a remarkable statue of Buddha dating back to the Roman era. The 28-inch or 71-centimeter statuette portrays a robed Buddha with missing limbs on the right side and a halo around his head representing the sun's rays. This discovery either shows Egypt's pivotal role in ancient trade routes connecting the Roman Empire to various parts of the world, or it holds secrets about beliefs in ancient Egypt. Which theory do you prefer to believe in? Two, tumor with teeth. Have you ever thought about what diseases could be found back in ancient times? Although cancer is usually associated with the modern era, recent discoveries suggest that this illness is way older than we thought. Believe it or not, a tumor with teeth has been found in the remains of a woman who lived over 3,000 years ago. The woman, aged between 18 and 21 at the time of death, was buried in the Amarna non-elite cemetery, adorned with gold beads and jewelry. The ovarian mass, roughly the size of a nickel, is the oldest known example of a teratoma, a rare tumor composed of various tissues like muscle, hair, bone, or teeth. One, artifacts found in muddy tomb Archaeologists have found a tomb containing the remains of 50 to 60 ancient Egyptians at the Gebel el Silsila site in Upper Egypt. The tomb, dating back to the 18th dynasty of Egypt, is submerged in briny water, making the excavation challenging, to say the least. The researchers, part of the Gebel el Silsila survey project, found three sarcophagi in the main chamber containing the remains of children. The bones of at least 50 other individuals, mostly adults, were also uncovered. The tomb, untouched by looters, suggests a thriving community of quarry laborers, while amulets found with the bodies indicate that these workers were not slaves. The team continues to analyze the findings to understand why so many people were buried in one place, making this discovery one of the most perplexing in history. What was the most shocking discovery? Let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.